All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over Google AdWords Express. Um, so Google AdWords Express is the bare bones basic version of Google AdWords that's meant for business owners who don't want to take the time to bid on separate keywords, to try to manage everything within AdWords that's a little bit more intricate and detailed. Um, personally, I don't really like or use AdWords Express. I think it's it has a purpose for certain people. Um, if you're really, you know, they have Harry's Hardware over here as the example. If you have, if you're someone who, let's say you have a $10 daily budget, you want to advertise, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to manage too much in terms of bids, research, all that stuff. All you want to do is tell Google, hey, here's the location I want to target. Here are the type of people I want to target. Please try to find my target customer. Drive me, you know, either traffic to my storefront, uh, drive me traffic to my website, or drive me phone calls. So that's really what it's good for. Um, it says set up your online ad in 15 minutes and let Google do the rest. So the thing is, you want to make sure that you're you're kind of monitoring everything that's happening because I've seen accounts where people kind of just set it and forget it with AdWords Express and you're going to start wasting money after a while. So it's something you want to keep monitoring and watching. Um, so let me get started here. What you're going to do is come to google.com slash AdWords slash Express. Uh, it's going to open here. I don't believe they allow you to have an AdWords account and an AdWords Express account under the same email. Um, they might. I just know in the past they didn't. Um, you're better off separating them anyway. So if you have any trouble getting here because you already have an active AdWords account, try creating a new Google account. Uh, when you come over to sign in, uh, it's going to bring you directly to AdWords Express here. So I have it set up with Surfside PPC. It might make you set up your business. Basically, all you do is set up a a website URL or the location um, and a phone number, things like that. So let's get started. What you want to do is click Create Ad. It's going to say, what's the goal for your ad? So I'm going to go through all three of these. Let's pretend I want people to call my business. So choose this goal if, and it'll show you kind of why you should choose it. So let's pick goal. So first thing you need to do is show where your customers are. So for this uh, purpose of this you know, example, I'm going to be in Myrtle Beach. That's where I'm located. So we click here. It'll show Myrtle Beach. It'll say my potential audience size is about 2.3 million uh, based on people in that area. So we click Next. Site and Business are all about. So when you type that in, it's going to bring up some things. So the main thing you want to do is I don't like to include some of these very broad keywords. So I like to do PPC management, AdWords management. Um, I don't even like to do, I guess we'll do that. And let's start adding another. So any keywords you can add here that are relevant for your business you want to add. Um, so advertising agency, marketing agency, PPC agency, AdWords agency. So that should be good for now. Um, it's going to have a potential audience size over here based on, you know, how many people search for businesses like yours. Um, so how many people are searching for keywords similar to this in the Myrtle Beach area. Uh, now we'll click next. So since my goal is to drive phone calls, you want to have an ad that really kind of is more geared towards phone calls, in my opinion. Um, so let's start with headline one. Um, so I like to do, I like to ask questions. I think I could fit advertising. I don't know if they allow. Okay, so just some quick ad copy there. Perfect. So clicks on your ad. So you can adjust this to different web pages. I'm just going to have everything goes right to my home page. My home page is pretty, uh, if we click on see how your ad will appear, you can see how it's going to show on a desktop search result and on a mobile phone. So it's going to be call Surfside PPC. Um, that's good. So we'll click next. Um, so now you want to enter your phone number. I would recommend turning on verified calls. Um, so this has a call forwarding number. Uh, what I'm going to do is just enter this isn't my actual phone number. Okay, so what you want to do is enter your phone number up here and click next. And what it's going to first do is say set your budget. So what's your per day average? And it's going to show on a maximum per month. It's going to show typical competitor budget range somewhere around there. You can adjust these things, these things to go keep going back. So I'm just going to set this. Let's do six dollars and fifty-eight cents per day. So I have a pretty small budget. It's going to spend about two hundred dollars per month. So if you have a business that's making thousands, you know, upon thousands of dollars per month, it's not a terrible idea to come in here and just say, you know, what, maybe I can get a little bit more for my money. 
um, you pay when people click on your ad or call your business. Um, costs vary for each click, and then you don't really need to commit to anything. You can always pause these things, so let's go to next. So now it's going to say review your ad settings. It's going to say your goal is to call your business. So they're going to try to get people to call my business. If you need to change your locations at all, you can. Um, my product or service is PPC advertising, and it's going to show for people kind of searching for these. So different things here. Um, this is what my ad looks like. You can edit this if you want. You can edit all these things before you go. So we'll click next. Um, so it's you're going to have to make sure you have a billing account created with AdWords. So I already have mine set up. It's saying it appears you already have created a billing account with us. Uh, if you have a promotional code for AdWords Express, you uh, can try to find one. There's different ways to find AdWords Express promotional code. Just do a quick Google search. You should be able to find something. Um, I can't I can't give you one because they, they're usually just like one-time deals. But a lot of times if you spend a certain amount, um, it'll it'll work for you. So you can pause, stop, cancel your ad at any time. Um, so if you want to run it for a couple days, it doesn't work well for you. You know. So I've published my ad now, and I'm going to continue to dashboard. Um, so dashboard will kind of show you everything, all the different ads you're running, um, things like that for this campaign. You know where your ad was clicked on, what your budget is spent on. Uh, you can track customer actions on your website through Google Analytics. So let's click Learn More. So what you want to do is make sure that you have. Google Analytics to your website and then basically it'll start tracking everything. So I have Google Analytics on my website so I know this will be tracked. Um, here's my budget, locations, product or service. So if we click back up here it'll show Surfside PPC. Um, so let's just say for example I'm done running this ad. Uh, you just click here. So do you want to deactivate this ad? Okay. Um, if you want to turn it back on you can. Um, otherwise you can come up here, you can edit things, you can just remove it all together. Uh, you can see ad change history uh, in case you have multiple people working in your account. So that's how you would set up a phone call ad. Now let's start with our storefront. So visit your storefront. It's going to be very similar to exactly what we had, but what you want to do is make sure you have your storefront as you know as located as possible, whoever's going to be visiting your storefront. So in the last example, I said I'm just targeting people in Myrtle Beach looking for PPC advertising. Let's say I have a storefront in Myrtle Beach. Um, I want to target a large, large audience. So I want to say anybody who's in the Myrtle Beach, Nielsen DMA region. Um, so I want to go over locations a little bit with you. So you'll see the Nielsen DMA region extends from Myrtle Beach up to Florence into Lumberton, Laurenburg. Um, so it way, way bigger. The other one kind of just went up here. It was just this area right here, whereas this comes all up in here. So these are people that visit Myrtle Beach frequently, or they're about an hour or two from Myrtle Beach, not a far drive. If you have a store that's useful, uh, maybe something that's unique, people will come there. Um, so let's go next. Let me do PPC advertising. I really got to figure out where they're pulling this stuff up from. Um, so any same things we had before. Um, if you want to add any other keywords, you can. Um, so I'm just going to do AdWords agency. And we'll do marketing agency. And that's good for now. So now you'll see your audience size grows because we use the DMA region. Um, and we'll click next. So again, creating an ad. Um, so, you know. The difference here would be you want to do something to say like visit our store. Um, so let's just pretend I have a PPC advertising store. Pretty ridiculous, but obviously, uh, let's just pretend someone would come into my store because they want to talk to me in person. Um, so what I could do is need comp marketing help. Um, visit the Surfside PPC store. Um, so visit. I like to use my call to action, whatever my goal is. So if I'm trying to drive people to my storefront, you do visit the Surfside PPC store to learn all about your PPC advertising options. So obviously that's not how it would actually work, but just like an example. So next, most people just give me a call or fill out an email. Uh, so phone number, I'm going to add a fake phone number again. Uh, so this adds it to your ad again. And now you can set your budget however you'd like. So let's go here, keep it the same, or we'll go up a little bit. I want to drive a uh, drive a lot of people to my store. So you pay when people click on your ad or call your business. Again, it's not the whole goal is they're going to try to reach people who will visit your storefront. That's why you use separate different types of advertisements. Uh, you could set your daily average, monthly maximum, same thing as before. Um, click next. So perfect. Now we continue to dashboard. So what I can do here is now I can come back and say, you know what, I do want to run this goal here where I want people to drive my 
to you know call my business I want people to visit my store so just turn that back on to active and that's it now we have two campaigns running or we just go inactive yes inactive again I like to use actual AdWords to run all my ads um, they're always gonna have this survey pop up if you pause everything uh, last thing you would do is take an action on your website so it's really no different than everything else we've done but let's just say I want people to contact me um, so we'll do this a little bit quicker so I just want to target Myrtle Beach this time alright so there you go PPC advertising couple things I would add more keywords here like I did in the last example but we're gonna get through this a little bit quicker Okay. Do a quick ad here. This isn't a a great ad, but I just want to kind of get through this. You could adjust. So let's say I want to do surfsideppc.com slash contact. Okay. So now we're sending people right to my contact page. Let's go next. Set your budget. Same thing as before. Um, you could just adjust that as you need to. So our ad goal is going to be take an action on your website. I want people to fill out my contact form. I'm sending them directly to my contact page now, um, and we'll click next. So again, next one more time. So now we're good. Continue to dashboard. And now we can kind of see what our, our results are. You can adjust all these dates here if you need to. Um, let's come back to our home. So I just want to pause this again. So that's that's how Google AdWords Express works. Again, it's, it's really the bare bones version of AdWords. Uh, you can do three different advertising goals here. You can see um, one is contact something, you know, contact, fill out something on the website, uh, visit the store, or call an agency you know if you're a plumber if you're something like that and you want phone calls but you don't want to do the nitty-gritty in AdWords it's a good way to, to target people I prefer to use AdWords I think you have more control as an advertiser if you're spending your money on marketing you should try to get the best possible results and not leave Google up to uh, to kind of make decisions for you um, you don't really want to it's kind of like uh, I don't know I don't know what the best way to explain it is but Google has an advertising platform in which their goal is to make money. Um, so if you're giving them autonomy and control of your ads, they want to give you the best possible results. So you keep spending money with them, but at the same time, they also want to spend money. So if they can't give you the best results, they're just going to spend your money. Um, and I love Google. They have an incredible advertising platform, but it's just the way it works. So um, just keep that in mind. I prefer to use AdWords. You have more control again. But this is always a good way to do it. If you just want to get started with ads and you're not sure where to get started, if you don't want to work with an agency, um, you could always use AdWords Express. You could see it's so simple. Um, just add some keywords, add your landing page, add your phone number, um, and target the areas you want to target. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out. Make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. And again, the best way to support us is to share this video on social media, share it with your friends, however you want to share it. Um, that's always helpful for us. We get more views and more people find our content. So thanks again for joining us today.